Just recently, the Commission got the approval of DPM for 206 items, when in fact, what would have been transferred from DSWD was a mere 57 personnel. So right off the bat, you can see na lalaki ang overhead nito at uh, tulad nga ng uh, bawat ahensya, eh, may kailangan na kanyang personnel, kanyang logistics, kanyang opisina. Uh, this is Section 11 of the law, uh, Your Honor, has just referred to. That's uh, Republic Act 11350. Yes. I will transfer of I, I will functions. Yes, let me read the Section 11. Yes, please. Transfer of functions from the Department of Social Welfare and Development, DSWD, to the National Commission of Senior Citizens, NCSC. All functions, programs, projects, and activities which are being undertaken by the Department of Social Welfare and Development, SWD, for the formulation, implementation, and coordination of social welfare and development, SWD, policies and programs for the poor, vulnerable, and disadvantaged senior citizens shall be transferred to the National Commission of Senior Citizens, the NCSE. So, if we are to interpret this law, uh, if we ask the interpretation of the leadership of the uh, Commission, what is their interpretation of this section 11? Uh, does this uh, mean that the, the, the man, the agency, like the DSWD because uh, all functions, programs, and projects and activities undertaken by DSWD shall be transferred to them? Yes, uh, Minority Leader, their understanding is the entire gamut of uh, programs and projects referring to senior citizens will be transferred to the new commission. It will not be a duplication but rather a complete transfer of the registry of senior citizen associations, senior social pensions, centenarians act, assistance to the aged, supervision and management of the residential care facilities, uh, the different havens in the different regions, and so on. That uh, lock, stock, and barrel, ililipat po to sa bagong komisyon. So, ang pagkaintindi nila, hindi naman madodoble, kundi ililipat talaga. Uh, inclu including the actual ha handing of the cash, kasi cash assistance po tong social pension, That's right? correct po. Uh, the, uh, the actual handing of the cash from government to the senior citizen beneficiary will will be done by this WD or the NCSC. NCSC po. NCSC, kaya nga. So, ibig sabihin nun, uh, 200 people will, will, will distribute the cash to actual senior citizen beneficiaries from Apari to Holok. Right. That is the, that, di ba, kung yun ang sinabi niyo pong That's na, correct. Po, po. Yes, that is uh, the understanding that they will undertake the entire uh, distribution and implementation of this. Right now, it's DSWD. They have 55 contractual personnel in DSWD, but there are 800 contractuals being hired for the distribution of funds. Uh, with the approval of the DBM uh, of the Commission's 206 permanent employee mm. items, I assume those 206 will also be obliged to get contractuals right. to cover oh, the same areas. Okay, yeah, so make contractuals to help the, uh, the regular employees of the Commission. Just as now the DSWD will retain the, the contractuals they're hiring to, to, to distribute some programs less the senior citizen uh, social pension. The understanding is uh, both the uh, 55 DSWD personnel as well as the 800 contractuals will to some degree or another be absorbed by the commission. They will not remain with DSWD any longer. Uh, because, 
are these people uh, currently with the DSWD so specialized that they just distribute uh, senior citizen pension? Yes, it's a large undertaking and uh, as a result, um, these are the 57 personnel of DSWD and as I said earlier, the 800 contractuals. Kaya nga, ganyan, ganyan po pala, uh, 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 as I'm understanding the answer, ganyan pa lang approach ng DSWD, so specialized that they have uh, people in the regular plantilla and they hire uh, contractuals. In addition. One and only job. The, uh, the reality is there are uh, several elements to the effort. Firstly, uh, there's the database which has always been under contention because uh, there are 4 million beneficiaries when the estimate would be approximately 8% of the total population of 106. So, ibig sabihin, kulang na kulang itong beneficiaries na nakalistang 4 million and the effort is to expand that database. So, that's a year-long effort and then, of course, the distribution is quite complex as well as in many cases, they have to be delivered house to house.